Business is about to start brewing in Jacksonville. The city is about to get its very first microbrewery. And TGV 11's Melissa Zickowitz shows us what's in store. Jacksonville did not have an ordinance allowing people to make and sell beer, so the mayor got one passed and now Blade and Barrel will soon be in business. Microbreweries are popping up all over the place. There's uh, 13 in Fayetteville. I don't know how many in Little Rock. It's one of the fastest growing industries. But microbrewers are up 250 percent. And Jacksonville Mayor Bob Johnson wants to get in on it. It's a thing that's popular. It's a thing that uh, people like to go to. Johnson says a microbrewer contacted him a few weeks ago. And wanted to know if Jacksonville allowed microbrewers. And we didn't because we didn't have an ordinance that said you could you can make and sell your beer. So Johnson got one passed quickly and Blade and Barrel will soon call Jacksonville home. It's going to be a big facility. He's even said that I can come out and learn how to make beer. I welcome it. I think it would be good for the area. I mean, it seems to do pretty good up in Little Rock. Johnson says the Denver-inspired brewery will be off TP White Drive near the county line. So he's going to have food trucks out there. So we have good food and a beer garden, you know, and places for the kids to play. And the owner's wife is a stylist, so it will also include a barber shop. So you can sit there and get your hair cut and watch him make beer. The owner plans to have eight of his own beers on tap. Citizens enjoy going to those places. And Johnson hopes Blade and Barrel will open up the door for more breweries to come to Jacksonville. I'm excited. To, uh, new businesses are good to have in the city. But it's just nice to have one closer to home where you don't have to commute about 20, 30 minutes to get there. Johnson says the owner expects to open within the next six to eight months.